what is up everybody welcome back to my channel today we are here at highland it's a, not a putter review believe it or not i have five discs and the main reason i have the majority of these discs is for content creation i'm gonna show you what they are what they do and try kind of walk you through what i do when i'm when i'm filming those um shot of the day shots that come in at the end of all my videos. I have more, but these are five of the like joke discs that everyone knows are joke discs, right? So we have the Zone OS. I do use it on super short courses, but for the most part, it's just fun to throw around. The Alien, which is a four speed, it's a mid range, but it has the top almost of a Sonic, which is super weird because uh, this mid range has two glide. How it can be domey and have almost no glide, I don't know. Next, we have the opposite end of the spectrum. We have super glidey, the Rolo. Um, this is in glow plastic, 180 grams, champ glow. So it is the most stable version of the Rolo you can find. I mainly use it for glow rounds and for stupid joke throws for shots of the day. We have my Champion Firebird, also known as Champion Groove. It flies like a Firebird. It does not fly like the numbers say 13-5, negative 2-2, or 13-6, negative 2-2. It flies like a 13-speed Firebird. And then last but not least, obviously, the Full Tilt. Um, would you really be making content on YouTube if you didn't have a Full Tilt? We're going to start off... Excuse me. Hmm. I'm going to start off here from the short pad to the long basket so it's going to be a little bit different um, baskets and tee pads may vary as we go throughout the course I just want to kind of show these discs off and do some fun joke throws because I, I don't normally come out and just do around where I throw these discs what do I want to throw how about fun joke throw I'm gonna go rollo forehand because I need it to go left Hey, at the bottom of the hill though. Maybe I'll play the red basket. Alien. It's like the reverse of overstable. It's spike and hyzers. So much money. On to hold two. Hold three from the shorts, 230. I'm going with the full tilt. Um, when I'm doing these joke throws, these shots of the day, here's what I do. Put it here, walk out, and then throw it. It's super simple. Oh, it's so stable. It was like a hundred feet and that thing full flexed. That is why for super short courses, I do actually bag a Zone OS. Full three from the long is 245 right now. Hear that? It's so pop toppy. I've done two different dryer treatments, which is stick it in a dryer, get it hot, get it warm, and then bend it down and it's still one of the most overstable distance drivers that I've ever thrown. I'm gonna throw on a forehand here and show you why flight numbers, not always accurate. How is that a negative two, two? Also, I just stubbed my toe and that hurt. <clears throat> yep. Oh, I also wasn't the first owner of this group. So I don't know how it is still this stiff and this overstable. This old school like champion plastic from Innova was beefcakes. Hole four, 290.
There is a tree right there. It's that simple, it's not very hard. Hole five, 285, I'm playing to the long. Zone OS, backhand, flex. Well, I've parked hole four's long basket. What do you say we throw one more? Rollo again. Centered, I can play from that one. I'll use one mulligan. Why not? See, I'm not always trying to throw the easiest, most straightforward shot. That's a tournament play. It's right there, right? Zone OS, forehand through over here, pan left. If you're not looking, you're not trying hard enough. the right line just a nasty little branch yes that was a rollo and yes it did hyzer pull a four from the longs to the longs is 406 but it's downhill so i'm going with my grooved firebird my 13 speed firebird i'm gonna try to throw it on anheuser and try to keep it nose down enough that it pushes straight and maybe fades out at the end. Be very careful on wet wooden tea pads. You know what it looks like? Forehand roller right through there, roll towards the basket. Or forehand roller right into a tree. Tilt, of course. And I just nutmeg the tree. Hole 7, 217, we're going to the alien, try to ace it. We're going with the Rolo, try to ace it. How did I do that with a Rolo? I don't understand. Hold eight from the long, 246, zone OS. Alien for him. I'll take that spot. Now I know that it seems like I'm not playing true disc golf and you're right. I am absolutely 100% not playing true disc golf. Right now I'm throwing weird discs that fly super uniquely and I'm throwing them on weird, unique, super technical lines. And I'm not doing it because that's something that I'm gonna be doing in a tournament. I'm doing it because of YouTube. So yes, I know, I'm not actually playing this. So I'm throwing from the shots that I think there is a better, there's a better spot to play from for a camera more for you and it's it's more on you guys and less on me i really don't care if i'm playing them in the woods but it's really hard to film a little line right here it's 
that's not the line I was talking about. Well, that one wasn't either either. That was better though. What I should have done was just tilt like this. All right, I'm just gonna go pick them all up, head to hole nine. We got one more shot for some, one more hole for some cool shots. I know this isn't typical content that I normally produce, but I hope you guys like this type of content where it's not really something that I need to work on or something that I'm reviewing. I'm just having fun with fun discs to throw. And it's just fun. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to comment down below what you want to see next and bonus points if you can guess which of these five discs is my favorite one to throw. Make sure you subscribe if you want to be entered to giveaways and you can see all my latest stuff as soon as it's released. Until next time guys, see you out on the course.